our general material costs around about $300 for a mainstream uh, all mountain ski uh, listed there. And we think we can charge upwards of 50% uh, in gross margins based on the fact this is somewhat of a premium product. You know, customization is actually sweeping across multiple industries right now. This is just some of the examples. And the U.S. Uh, snowboard market is one that is ripe for the picking. Uh, can you imagine, I mean, a more, uh, an industry that cares more about uniqueness than skiers and snowboarders? Uh, we have uh, a, a customer, so we, we did a little bit of market research. We got 76 folks to actually identify themselves as skiers or snowboarders. 70% said they were either somewhat or very likely or, uh, very interested in the concept, and over 50% said that they were somewhat to very uh, likely to purchase the right amount of time. So we think these are pretty promising numbers. Uh, we had definitely some challenges, as all of you did, I'm sure, over the weekend. Um, one of which is inventory. We talked a lot about this. Uh, our business model requires, uh, uh, well, the first instantiation required purchasing and housing a bunch of inventory. So we talked a lot about how we can get around this issue. Uh, bulk orders, uh, potentially partnering with retailers where you have uh, uh, inventory issues, uh, or maybe solving a, a problem for manufacturers as far as how they deal with forecasting in, uh, inventory. Um, so we're, I don't think we bottom out on that, but we definitely had some good discussion. And then as far as opportunities, we've got skate, surf, and expanding beyond uh, the U.S. market. Uh, we also went down a path of using Magento uh, and kind of had to make a left-hand turn after a little while when we realized none of us had experience with Magento. So uh, <laughs> had to turn back and react quickly as a team. And then lastly, uh, I already introduced the guys, but we're a really diverse group. We've got uh, two developers, one designer. Uh, I have sales and business development experience. Uh, Michael has marketing and e-commerce experience. So we really got all our bases covered to proceed before we decided here. Our next step is actually going to be a prototype we're working on K2. Hopefully within the month we'll actually have that design on an actual ski, so you know, we'll know a lot about that one. Turn it over to Matt to show a little bit about the prototype. All right. um, so I'll just, I use the mic, but um, I'll just show a quick prototype we used using Axure. It's a nice uh, functional prototype building tool. So uh, the emphasis of this design was culture over e-commerce. I think we all know what an e-commerce site looks like, so I won't skip some of that, but uh, the main design principle here was that we want to bring the culture up. We want to bring customization and uniqueness. So you can see from the beginning, we have featured designers. We have custom designs already in your face. Um, so I'll just show you a couple things. One is uh, if I want to go purchase the skis, this seems like a good price range. Um, I can pick whatever design or what length I need, and then I can pick my style. So uh, I'll look at this one. Uh, this one kind of speaks to me. I can customize some of the colors. I've got a Seahawks branded one, and this is a great opportunity is having companies and organizations like maybe a UW. Sorry, Cougars. Uh, <laughs> um, so these kinds of opportunities actually will help us sort of lock ourselves into place. Um, and the other side of this is we want to have people the opportunity to sell their designs. So we can look at a user who's created some designs and they can see how they're doing based on uh, whatever snacks we think are important at the time. We haven't done a lot of research on that, but... <laughs>